Uh, paper number 104, results of laparoscopic common bile duct exploration, a prospective randomized trial uh, presented from Odessa State Medical University by Professor Grubnik. Thank you very much, <coughs> Mr. Chairman. Uh, it's a very big privilege for me to be here and to present our study. So um, the, the uh, topic of the study is very close uh, to, the topic, uh, to the previous studies. Single-stage laparoscopic procedures for common bile duct stones is uh, an alternative treatment option to two-stage uh, endolaparoscopic treatment and to open holidocholitotomy. Several reports uh, demonstrate feasibility, safety, efficiency, and cost effectiveness of laparoscopic technique. Pro prospective studies of laparoscopic management of CBD stones that uh, include more than 20 patients report success about uh, 90%. The morbidity rate after uh, laparoscopic CBD exploration range about uh, 7 and 9 percent, mean 8 percent. However, some uh, trials demonstrate the similar morbidity for open surgery. Uh, the most frequent complication after laparoscopic CBD clearance are biliary. Several studies uh, attribute uh, the, uh, this to the um, biliary drainage. Uh, so when we use the drainage, um, the complication rate uh, can be 16%, and then uh, without drainage is only 5%. The rates uh, of residual stones after, trans, uh, after laparoscopic treatment range uh, from uh, 2.8 to 8%, mean 5%. And is uh, uh, equivalent to that in the open surgery. Tra transistic approach, which is uh, recently preferred in laparoscopic CBD exploration, is used in 70% uh, of cases and uh, with success about 80-90%. Uh, so uh, there are many uh, controversies in choosing the appropriate single-stage procedure for CBD uh, stones. Uh, currently, most uh, Eastern Europe surgeons prefer open uh, haledocholitotomy uh, to laparoscopic approach for the treatment of CBT stones. The aim of our study uh, was to analyze safety and benefits of laparoscopic common bile duct exploration compared to open. Uh, prospective randomized uh, trial included a total 256 patients with CBD stones operated on from 2005 to uh, uh, 2008, nine in single center. There were uh, 82 men and uh, 174 women with middle age uh, 62. Uh, the patients were randomized into uh, two groups. The first group, uh, laparoscopic group, consists from 138 patients and the Second group, open group, open operation group, uh, consists from 118 patients. Mm, uh, the exclusion criteria were high uh, operative risk, bleeding uh, diathesis, pregnancy, multiple previous abdominal operations, and or peritonitis, and psychiatric disorders. So the, in the first group, we use uh, laparoscopic, appro uh, laparoscopic uh, approach uh, via transistic, approach and uh, laparoscopic holedochotomy. Um, in the second group, um, only in, ten, in 12 patients, um, uh, surgeons retrieve the, uh, uh, through a transistic approach, uh, the, um, and uh, the most patients were operated by holedochotomy. Uh, patient's demographics shows no differences uh, between these two groups. We prefer uh, to use uh, haledochotomy in all cases, and uh, we use uh, intraoperative holangiography as well. So uh, for retrieval uh, of, uh, for extraction of stones, 
We use uh, different techniques, dormia, baskets, uh, balloon extractor, milking, papillary dilatation, and so on. Success rate of stone extraction in laparoscopic group was about uh, 94%. And uh, we have uh, 102 attempts to retrieve stones through transistic approach, but uh, it was successful only in 71% of patients. The reasons of failure was narrow cystic duct, multiple stones, large stones, uh, anatomical consideration, and retained stones. And in 62 uh, per, uh, patients, uh, laparoscopic halitochotomy was done with success rate 93.5%. Uh, 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 external drainage was, was put uh, in only in half of a laparoscopic, operative, uh, a laparoscopic operation. Uh, in the group of patients who underwent transistic approach, uh, external drainage was put only in 32% of patients, and uh, in the group of patients who underwent laparoscopic halitochotomy, external drainage was put only in 55% 55, uh, 55 of uh, drainage. In 29 uh, patients, we put uh, antigrad stenting. When we um, Compared the patients who underwent transistic and uh, uh, transistic approach and laparoscopic cholecystotomy, we can say that uh, uh, the uh, patients who underwent transistic approach uh, were younger, uh, have uh, less comorbidities and uh, less uh, uh, little uh, small st stones. The patients who uh, underwent uh, laparoscopic cholecystotomy uh, has um, more comorbidities, so uh, the duration of operation was uh, more in this group, um, but um, uh, stone clearance was higher significantly, and uh, duration of uh, hospital stay was higher too. In, uh, in open group, in opera with operations open group, uh, success rate of uh, stone clearance was uh, 97%. And uh, in four patients, uh, we have retained stones. Uh, these patients under underwent uh, post-operative endoscopic sphincterotomy. And one patient underwent transdo open transdodonal sphincterotomy because of impacted stone. Morbidity in this group was 12.7%. Uh, Dislocation of drain was in two patients. Uh, they need reparation and correction of the drain. Bio leak with peritonitis in one patient. This patient underwent reparation uh, for abscesses, which was successfully uh, percutantly uh, punctured under uh, ultrasound guidance and wound infection in seven. So comparison of uh, results of these two groups show us that duration uh, of operation was the same. Mean blood loss was uh, less in a laparoscopic group. Stone clearance was the same. Uh, morbidity was twice less in laparoscopic group. And, uh, uh, and uh, loss was uh, less in uh, laparoscopic group two. Uh, complication rate was uh, higher in uh, open group and uh, because of wound infection and uh, intra-abdominal infection. So our conclusion, laparoscopic CBD exploration can be performed with high efficiency, minimal morbidity and mortality. Laparoscopic procedure, uh, procedures has advances uh, over uh, open ones in terms of post-operative post morbidity and length of hospital stay, transistic approach is feasible in patients with small stones. Thank you very much. We have time for one question and a short response. Uh, Andy Morfestis, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Thank you. This was an excellent presentation. You mentioned that you would dilate the papilla. Uh, how big would you dilate the papilla from, from inside? So uh, we see, use such uh, technique. We uh, put antigrad, put the uh, balloon, and delayed the papilla. 
um, in, inject uh, glucagon and then uh, flash the flush the stones uh, to do. Was this a four or five millimeter dilator, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.